Hey there, today is Thursday, April the 28th. There are actually four places in the Bible we're reading today. I usually there's three, today there's four. It's 1 Samuel 15 and 16, 1 Chronicles 1, Psalm 39, and Acts chapter 11. And we're reading through this, uh, kind of finding how these things all connect all throughout it. And today, in the 1 Samuel passage, we're turning the page a little bit. We'll still talk about Saul, King Saul, some, but we're turning the page a little bit toward David. Uh, the next king. And in 1 Samuel 16, that's the chapter where the prophet Samuel anoints David as the next king. Now, God sends Samuel to the home of David's father, Jesse, and he comes up to the home and he tells Jesse, I've been, uh, to paraphrase, I've been sent here to anoint the next king of Israel. And so Jesse, uh, in my mind, he gets a little excited, brings all of his sons in. He has all of his sons row up from, from tallest and oldest to the youngest that was there. They all rode up shoulder to shoulder, and they all passed before Samuel one at a time. Well, God kind of spoke to Samuel about each son. And the first one came by, and Samuel thinks because he's tall and strong, he looks like a king. Remember, Saul looked like a king. He looks like a king. And God says, it's not the one. Next one comes by. It's not the one. Next one. It's not the one. They're getting younger and smaller as they go through. Not the one. 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 They get to the end of the line. And Samuel looks at Jesse and says, is this all? Is this all your sons? Because it's none of these. And Jesse says, well, there is one more. He's out in the field tending the sheep. He's the youngest of all. He's the smallest. Uh, he's not, he's not, he's ruddy in appearance. He's, uh, he's different. He's little. Samuel says, bring him. I won't sit down until he comes. And then he comes in there, and Samuel anoints David the next king. Now, at one point in this chapter, God speaks to Samuel and says that God doesn't see things the way people see. A man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. The first king of Israel, Saul, looked like a king on the outside, but his heart was far from what God wanted as a king. The second king, David, might not have looked like a king, but his heart was after God's own heart. Even though he failed, even though he messed up, he was after God's own heart. God says, I don't judge people by the outside like everybody else does. I judge by the heart on the inside. I want to encourage you today. When you look in the mirror and you see yourself as the world sees you, if you are watching TV and you're seeing commercials or you're seeing billboards or, or magazine ads, you're seeing whatever, you know there's all kinds of things out there for all kinds of body types. And there's a, an ideal for male bodies and for female bodies. And you might think, I don't look right. I'm too short. I'm too I'm too skinny, I'm too weak, I'm too whatever it is, I'm too bald, I'm too gray, I don't know what it is you're thinking. That, that part of your body you hate the most, you look at it and think, everybody sees us, and that's all you can focus on. You need to look in the mirror, you need to point a finger at yourself and remind yourself that God doesn't even care about any of that. None of it. Not a thing. There are billion dollar industries based on making your body look the way our culture says it should look. And God says, I could care less about that. I made you in my image. I made you a masterpiece. I made you the way I want you to be. I see your heart. And God wants us to focus on letting our heart be transformed into his image more than letting our body, our image, be transformed into our culture's image. I want to encourage you. Let yourself be molded by God. I want to encourage you also, when you see other people around you and you're tempted to judge them based on how they look, how they act, uh, how fast or slow or whatever they are, I want to encourage you to remember that God doesn't look at any of that and you shouldn't either. You should love people because they were all made in the image of God just like you were. And you let God be the judge of hearts and you focus on just loving the people. God doesn't look at the outside appearance. God doesn't care. God judges the heart. Make sure your heart is surrendered to Jesus and make sure you see other people as though they were created in the image of God also and you love them because you know their heart is longed for by God. That's it. I hope that encouraged you the way you see yourself, your mission, and your neighbor. Until I see you again, you are sent.